All right, one of the many questions that we always get asked is, what do you do with your joints when you're polishing concrete or when you're doing decorative concrete? And our simple answer is we promote Metzger McGuire RS-88, okay? RS-88 is a polyurea that you're putting into the joint, okay, after you clean out the joint, okay? So we've already got our cartridge cocked and loaded, as they say, okay? And we have our perfect track machine that we've done some videos on before that we're going to show you how you uh, clean out the joints, okay? This is a very simple, very easy to use machine. These guys saw how easy it was to use the Concrete Genie to do our edges with. They were very impressed with that, and I think you guys will be equally impressed with the use of this for cleaning out your joints. Uh, we have Dr. Jimmy that's going to come over here, and he's going to help with the, with the machine, with the starting of the machine. You want to take him, take him through the, the switch? Uh, we just set up the uh, depth. I've got about a quarter of an inch that we're going in. Um, and we just pretty much, this tip right here is just going to follow, you're just going to follow that line. That's, that's your guide, blade. that's your guide. That's your guide. And that, that blade should just be kind of right on top of that line, so. And these, these here are weights. These are weights that can be taken off if you want them taken off. We like to leave them on. It's a super, it's, it's a, uh, it, this is like the Lamborghini of joint cutters. You want, to hang, you want to hang on this machine when you start it up because it does have a little bit of a kick to it, okay? And you want to make sure you stay in your joint. Yeah, I just do like a little dry run here. Make sure that I'm in there. And... Good.
Okay, once you have all of your uh, joints cut, cleaned, vacuumed out, okay, the next step is actually putting in the, the RS-88, okay? And Ricardo has uh, greatly volunteered, I should say, to shake, it. To shake the, the material for us, okay? It's very important when you get this product, okay, that you shake it for at least probably a minute and a half to two minutes, okay? And what you're doing there is you're just basically activating the product, it's a two-part product, so you actually see you have a part A and a part B, and it's gonna go down this electrostatic tip, okay? The electrostatic tip has both materials flow down it, joined together at the end, and then they become active as you are putting it into the joint. Um, so basically, you've now pretty much shaken that for about two oh, minutes. I've been shaking it for a long time. For a long time, okay. So he's a professional shaker, by the oh, way. Oh yeah. And he actually he learned from Dr. Jimmy. Dr. Jimmy's yeah, the one Dr. That Jimmy. Me how to shake it. Yeah, he's the one that knows. You want to take it. the shook one already? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. All right. So here we go. We're, we're gonna we're gonna dispense these, and we're actually gonna have uh, the little part on the inside here. You want to keep this part because if you don't use the whole tube, this is gonna be your your saver. This is like your little Tupperware item. Put the electrostatic tip on. You're gonna put this down over it. You're gonna screw it on. Show this nice and tight. Yep. And make sure that the sticker part is to the back side, and this is here on the front side, so you can kind of see like where you're at in the tube. What a that great was a, idea. That was, a, that, was a, that was a secret that Dr. Jimmy taught me, by the way. Anyways, you're gonna pump this a few times. You wanna pump it upright, so all the air yeah. come out. Yeah, make sure it stays upright. And you're gonna have a bucket nearby that uh, our friend Jonathan is See the that? bucket man. We got more product coming out. Here it goes, it's going all the way to the top. Right. It's about ready to erupt here. And you're gonna pump it three times into this bucket here, okay? So you got one, two, three, and there you go. Now you got the both part A and part B mixed up together. 10 minutes to dry. So you wanna make sure that you definitely don't Make sure you put it in enough, but you don't want to like put in way too much. This is probably a good amount that, that Dr. Jimmy's putting in. You're going to wait the 10, 15 minutes tops, and then you're going to come back with a blade, a cutting blade, and you, you're just going to shave this away. This product was produced to uh, help eliminate the uh, joints from eroding from the forklifts, from the pallet jacks, and from people going over it. This is a brand new concrete slab. Right now it's at a salt and pepper finish. We're doing this between the 70s and the 120s. That's what we recommend, okay? If you're gonna do it at a different time, you can do it beforehand. You can do it after. However, there is an oil film that will uh, flow over on all this overage that you do have on the joint that will um, stain the concrete. So the metals, your next metal bond is gonna cut that stain out. And if you're gonna be doing it after your resin, some people do wait till the very end, because maybe they're waiting for a shipment to come in from the factory if they've ordered a special color. These are all available in all the different colors that you see available that Ameripolish carries uh, and that Schofield carries uh, from Metzger McGuire. They're a great company to work with. Um, we're one of the one of their distributors down here in South Florida. We ship worldwide their product. Um, we'll be able to sell you the product for the same price, but you can buy it for directly from them if you're buying the type, type of quantities that you need to buy. Uh, RS-88 is just one of their product lines that we really recommend for polished concrete floors and for joints. Um, but getting back to the product itself, it, it, it has an oily substance to it that does adhere to the uh, concrete. So if you're doing it in the resins, there's another product that we have that you're going to buy that's it's like a soap, and you're going to paint the soap on both sides of the joint, probably one inch on each side, so when you do go over it, that soap uh, is going to keep that, that oily substance off the concrete substrate. Anyways, Dr. Jimmy is just about done with this joint. Each tube you get approximately 24 feet. This is 25 feet all the way to the other side, so he should be able to just about get there with this. I think they expose some these. You kind of see he's got a, he's gonna probably fall short by about a foot. You got another one. 
we're ready to go. Ricardo's helping us out over here. He's going to fall a little bit short. This is a 25 foot by 80 foot room, so he got about, about 23 feet out of that one. Old canister, new one, bucket. Start over here, start right now. Start on your joint and then we'll come. Basically, everybody that's watching these videos, it's all about the tools, okay, and how you use the tools to get the job done properly, okay? Uh, today, we use the right product. We use the perfect track machine to, to cut the joints out. Um, of course, we use the Metzger McGuire RS88 to fill the joints, and we've used the right people to do the work to get the job done in a short period of time. Uh, these joints took us about one hour to do today. Uh, we got about our four or five minutes to go here. Jonathan's finishing up the joint over there. Ricardo's uh, doing a nice job of removing the, uh, the overage. Anyways, um, thanks a lot for joining us on YouTube. Please like us on Facebook. Uh, you can go to Concrete Genie on Facebook. You can go to Extreme Polishing Systems on Facebook. National Diamond on Facebook, okay? And definitely like us and subscribe to us here on YouTube, okay? Once again, thanks for joining us and you guys have a great day out there. You're getting rid of another blade on the truck. Oh, there it is. 628, got two minutes left.